All right, so here's a graph, right? Function is increasing. Remember, here's the x-axis. We read from left to right. You guys agree with me that the values of x are small here, and they get larger as we go to the right, correct? So each value, it's increasing, decreasing. All right, so let's find the values where our graph is increasing. Now, when we're reading an incre increasing intervals, we're only talking about the x values the graph is increasing at. Yes? It is 7, 1. Thank you. OK, so let's look at the values where the graph is increasing. So what between what x values does somebody see that the graph, as I read from left to right, where is the graph increasing? Does anybody see any x values? Yes, Caleb. 2 to 4. So we'd write it's increasing from 2 to 4. We don't write the 6 for what the y value is. We're just saying from the x value. So it's the x value. From the x value increases from 2 to 4. Where else is it increasing for? Anybody else want to try? Where else is the graph increasing? From what x value to what x value? Yes. Huh? 7, but that's the x value. 1 is the y value, you're right. But from x value 7 to how far over is it going to continue to increase? Forever. So we'd go forever to the positive direction we'd call positive infinity. 7 to infinity. Then we can write decreasing. You can see as far left as I can go, the graph is, looks like it's going to be decreasing. So that's going to be negative infinity to which value? Anybody want to say? 2. Everybody wants to write 4 because 4 is the y value. We read if it's increasing or decreasing based on the y value, but we only write increase and decreasing based on the x value. So just be very careful with that. And then it's also decreasing from 4 to 7. And this graph is not constant at anywhere, correct? Okay. Last thing I'm going to show you again, this is again pretty obvious. 